What's up y'all, Sammy Foo all up on your screen and today we're going to get into a that nap life video. In these type of videos, I like to demonstrate different techniques that are great for our natural hair. Today I'm going to give y'all two different hair rinses I love to do in my hair that has definitely helped me in gaining growth, retaining growth, retaining moisture, minimizing breakage, getting rid of those stupid split ends, you feel me, and a whole bunch of other wonderful hair benefits. If any of those benefits is what you want, Baby, you better keep watching. Happy full checking in. Let's go. Thank you for tuning back in with your girl. And if you're new to this channel, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Comment below the different things you do that you feel has stimulated growth for you and helped you retain growth, okay? Share the products you use, the methods, the techniques, the strategies, all of that. Leave in the comment box below and let's get these ideas and tips flowing, okay? Sharing is caring. So y'all, I wanna talk about two different rinses that I do on my hair on a regular basis that really has helped in me retaining growth. Consistency, remember that word. The first one that I'm gonna talk about is rice water. I know, I know, you like, wait. Pause for the cause. Rice water, y'all, yes. Taking water from rice and putting it onto thy head, yes indeed. Let me tell you some great benefits about it right now. So there's like three different ways you can make this right water, but two of them are very similar. So you can call your friend up, girl, you eating some rice tonight? Uh-huh, okay, hold that water for me, girl. I'ma come get it real quick, okay? So yeah, one way is to boil some rice that you're gonna already eat, but save that water for your hair. Another way is to just let it soak for a couple of minutes or so, and then use that water for your hair. The third way is very similar to the second way. Have your water soaking, but it's not gonna be just for 30 minutes or so. That's the method that's my favorite way of making it, and I'm gonna show you in about five, four, three, two, you're gonna need some uncooked rice. It can be brown rice or white rice. Water, a plastic container, plastic film, and some thyme. Take your uncooked white rice, you're gonna put it into a bowl, you're gonna add some water to it. You know, just keep on watching what I'm doing because I really just go step by step. Let me tell you a little something about rice water, okay? What makes it great is this ingredient inside of it called inositol. It's a carbohydrate that helps to strengthen our hair. One thing about the way I'm doing it is that this is the way, the way I'm doing it allows it to be fermented. And fermented rice water has a lower pH that's closer to our natural hair pH. Isn't that cool? That's why this is my favorite way of making it, y'all. I encourage you to go into the description box so you can see more details about the benefits of rice water because it's something that's really slept on in this natural hair community. And we need to wake up, okay? that I love to use are tea rinses. I have two specific teas that I love to use. It's black tea and green tea. Sometimes I use them together, sometimes I use them separately. You make this like you make tea. Boil some hot water, then take the hot water, pour it over your tea, let it seep. That's exactly what I do. Except it's not gonna be in a small little cute tea cup. It's gonna be in a big ass bowl. Let me show you. Another rinse method I love to use are t is tea rinses. I like to mainly use black tea and green tea. This method right here is so beneficial for us that deals with breakage, y'all. I give you more details in the description box, so make sure you check it out. So my final rinses are always room temperature. My rice water is at room temperature. My tea is at room temperature. It just works better for my hair. If I do something that's cold, my hair will be mad. It'll be mad, it'll be hangry, hangry at me. y'all, 
so those are my favorite rinses to do on my falsy hair, okay? It has definitely helped in me retaining lint. For sure. It's just a lot of great benefits that I've, I've already talked to y'all about. So I hope you really do take some time and look into it yourself. All right, we come to the end of that NetLife video. I hope you enjoyed today's demonstration and I hope it really helps you. If you're gonna try it, please let a sister know. I really hope one of these things work out for you. So I know we're all trying to get that long hair, don't care, but you gotta be consistent in these things that you do. You can't do it for one month and expect your hair to be like, what? It's not gonna happen. Hi, my name is Bioke. Bioke is my name. It is nice to meet you. I won't take too much of your time. I just want to come and talk. I want to say that uh, these tips, these tips, these tips, tip, tip, tip. you can try it. But make sure you try it. You are continuous with it. Some of you want to just stop and be like, ah, one month, my hair's not long. Ah, this thing don't work. How long have you been doing it? I've been doing it for a month. That is why it's not working. You have to be consistent. Have faith. Mm? I know I look very serious. I'm joking. No, I'm serious. You must do it consistently. Don't listen to those videos you are seeing that says longer hair overnight, two inches overnight, five inches overnight. Lights! Lights! If you want to be like, be okay, listen to this tip. If you choose to practice it, be consistent. Eh? Consistency is the key. If you are consistently, consistent, consistently, consistent, consistently, consistent. <laughs> I don't know how y'all deal with me. I really don't know. Thank y'all so much for tuning in today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you had fun watching it as well. And most importantly, I hope you learned something. If you liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to Nappy Food TV and go a further step by sharing this video. Check in my description box for further details. And make sure you check me out next week for another episode of, I don't know yet, but it's gonna be something that I hope you find helpful. Remember to have healthy hair, you gotta do healthy things. This is. <laughs>